sometimes we need those little reminders to keep us going every single day. So, it's Sunday morning, it's 9am and we're about 22 degrees at the moment. Um, we are going up to 32 degrees, so I want to get my walk done first thing in the morning. Uh, try and walk a couple of days a week. Um, we have a couple of loops here, so I can do three kilometers, five kilometers or seven kilometers. And this is gonna be a five kilometer walk. So let's get this done while the day is still fairly cool. It's very sunny and I forgot my sunglasses, but uh, we'll still give it a go. This is honestly the the worst part of the walk for me, just the uphill part, that, uh, that exhausts me by the time I just got to that little bit there, but we'll work our way through it, this is what the exercise is all about, well that's the hardest part of the walk done, that, uh, that hill, I hate that hill, but it's done now so that's good and uh, going to do some nice flat and then we'll do some downhill. <laughs> that makes me happy. Um, I was just thinking about the plans, how the bariatric clinic, the things that they got me to do to prepare for this, this spot, this place. And it wasn't so much calorie counting, it was... Um, counting fiber intake and counting protein intake which is something that I'm going to have to learn and rely heavily upon going forward after the surgery so it did teach me that but I think without the azempic I would not have been able to get as far as I have have now um, but after eight nine months on the azempic the food noise is coming back and I'm worried that that is going to come back after the surgery as well but different to the surgery with the Azempic I can stop that whenever I want once I have the surgery there's there's no going back from that but I in the last six to nine months I have lost 65, 70 pounds and that has really been able to help me with my walking. Um, I know it's hot <laughs> and I'm old and so I do struggle sometimes, especially when Andrew makes me walk nine kilometers in one go, breaking up to five kilometer walks in a day is much easier to do than uh, one, almost 10 kilometers. But uh, walking, this walking is really helping me. Andrew is taller than me. He's a lot younger than me and he can walk a lot faster than me. So when it's my walks alone, then I don't say I stop and smell the roses, but I don't sprint. It's like when you were a kid and your dad took you for a walk and you spent more time running after your dad than you did just actually walking. <laughs> so that's what it feels like walking with Andrew. <laughs> One of the things I've become overly focused on this last week since um, getting my surgery date and getting the date that I'm starting the liquid diet is last meals. Do I have a last supper? What's that one last gut buster that I would love to go for? Keeps coming back to steak. <laughs> um, but it's like 
this is the last day you're ever going to be able to eat again. So let's make the most of it. I've got to be quiet. I've got to be very quiet. Oh, is he going to run away before I get there? Oh, let's have a look. Hello. Hi. You look like a baby. Sometimes we need those little reminders to keep us going every single day. I love this bit. Yeah. This is the part of the hill or the walk that I like. It's all downhill. We're not going up that uphill where those where that traffic is crossing down the bottom. That's where we're turning. So we only do the downhill part. So at the moment, um, walking is the only exercise that I do. And it's fine in spring and summer and autumn, but it's not something that I can keep up in the winter. I can't come out walking. I can go to a gym, but then as soon as I get bored on the treadmill, I think, screw this, I'm going home. And uh, I bug out, I, uh, I leave it. So the only other thing I can think of doing is swimming. I don't have a bike, and if I do get a bike, I'm gonna get a cheetah's bike and I'm going to get an electric bike. <laughs> um, so if you have any ideas on what exercising I can do, so walking for three seasons, but I definitely need something for that fourth season. Um, I think swimming is going to be like the walking and as soon as I get bored, I'm going to get out. Um, but that's why walking on the streets is good because I don't, once I've started walking and I've got halfway, I have to carry on walking to get home. So it's, walking is good. Walking outside is good for me. I just need to keep it up. So thinking about things, I'm actually looking forward to doing the um, liquid only diet because I don't have to think. I know I can only have that liquid and all other food noise should be gone, I hope. And this is what the end of the walk looks like. I'm exhausted. <laughs>